What's going on, my fellow gladiators? All right, so right now we're in Cape Canaveral. I'm gonna be fishing with my daughter. Uh, she's down from North Carolina. So we are going to show you guys some techniques on how to fish Cape Canaveral um, because it's not the ocean. It's not the normal fish uh, fishing uh, technique that I use for sheep's head. Um, so the water is a little, it's a bit slower. So uh, you're gonna need, uh, you know, minimal to no weight at all when it comes to sheep's head fishing in the river so hey listen guys we're gonna see if we can't put you guys on some footage and uh y'all stay tuned man should be a good one all right guys so i've told you guys about my setup before but i'm gonna explain it again i'm using a uh seven foot medium heavy this is a ugly stick intercoastal um and then on that i have a, a uh, cast king this is a, a sharky bait feeder three um and then from a main line i'm going to be using a 30 pound uh braided line and then uh like i said you know because we're fishing in the river i'm going to be using minimal to no uh weight as uh as possible uh, because this current is not as strong as where if i was uh, fishing in the intercoastal like sebastian inlet then I'd be using more weight. But this right here is gonna be a half uh, a half ounce for the egg sinker. Um, we're gonna try that out first. Or we might even just uh, free line it and see how that works. But, um, you know, I have a 40-pound uh, 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 test for the uh, fluorocarbon leader. And then I have a one-ot um, J-hook that we're gonna be using. Um, so we're going to get on them for you guys, okay? <laughs> there he is guys first one of the day 